Welcome back everyone. This is the second installment in our series of quick answers for commonly asked power station questions. Take it away, Steve. We get asked a lot with my 1970 JMP cranked, uh, how is it not gonna get turned into a Fender sounding amp through a power amp that's got six L6s in it? And the answer is that in the guitar amplifier, the power amp stage is designed to behave a certain way like that guitar amp that you're familiar with. Fenders behave a certain way, they just happen to have 6L6s. Marshalls behave a certain way, they just happen to have EL34s. This is a more neutral power amp. Its purpose is just to recreate the sound that came out of your amp and send that to the speaker, not add its own coloration. Of course, you can add a little bit of coloration on the extremities, the very low end, the very top end, but that's it. It doesn't give you a completely different tonal stew or flavor. Its, it's job is not to do that. Um, the PS100 has got 6550s, which are basically double powered 6L6s. So in the same respect, they're there to just transfer power from here to your speaker cab, not accentuate it unless you want to, like using the presence and depth controls, for example. But even then, those controls are there to restore what you had already coming out of your amp at a reduced volume. And in that context, your ears are actually are what are changing your perception of how it sounds at different volumes, not the amplifier. So the closer you get the, amp, the power station to the, the volume that your amp is already operating at, the less you're gonna rely on the controls to uh, tweak the behavior so that it sounds like what you're used to hearing. Uh, the lower the sound volume goes, the more you're likely to wanna modify the behavior to get it up to where you're used to it. And that's strictly a function of compensating for what your ears are doing to flatten out the bottom end or the top end. All right, well, that makes plenty of sense, but just like in the last video, we're gonna do a little test here. And I'm going to take a few moments to rip off one of the most recognizable riffs in the Pantheon of EL34 tones. And uh, I'm gonna use this 50 watt non-master plexi circuit amp to do the job. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna plug, uh, in one of the examples, we're gonna plug the guitar straight into the amplifier and then run the amplifier into the PS2. And then we're gonna take the line out of the PS2, okay? So we're using the reactive load of the PS2, but we're completely bypassing the, the power section part. So no tube stuff in this example, okay? We're taking that line out and we're going into my DAW where I'll use an IR of like an old Marshall 412 or something. And then uh, in the next example, we'll do the same thing. But when we run into the power station this time, we're gonna take the speaker out, okay? So introducing the power section of the PS2, we're gonna run that into the PLIR and then take the line out of the PLIR into my DAW. And then we'll use the same IR. So in that example, if there's going to be any sort of 6L6 fendery artifacts that are introduced into uh, the sound by the PS2, we should be able to hear it in that example. All right, so here's the rub. I'm not gonna tell you what order we're doing the examples in until the end of the video, okay? So we can at least attempt to do sort of a blindfold test at home, and you can decide for yourself whether or not the PS2 fenderizes your EL34 amps, okay? All right, let's do it.
right, do you have your guesses ready? Hear any 6L6 sauce on any of these tracks? Are you ready for the big reveal? I don't know, is it track number one? Or track number two? All right, give me a drum roll. <laughs> wow, that sucked. But anyway, the track that used the power section of the power station was example number one. <laughs> I don't really know what we're cheering for, but uh, anyway, I hope this video was uh, useful in some way. And uh, if you haven't already and you want to see more content like this, please like, subscribe, and do that bell thingy that everybody talks about doing at this point in the video. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. And until then, my name is still Joe Gamble, and I am out. <laughs> Thank you.